This is a judgment-free zone, okay? Just pretend like you're at Planet Fitness. Hello, good morning. I am obviously in my car because I need to run a few errands today. I'm already out and about. Well, I say already, it's 1 p.m. Because your girl likes to sleep. I also didn't fall asleep until 5 a.m. I don't know what's up with that. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Today is going to be a what I eat in a day slash day in the life. I'm going to try and get a workout in. Uh, since it's actually a really nice day here, I think I'm just going to go for a walk. Probably take you with me on that just to get some like fun little shots or whatever. Did go to 7-Eleven, which you will see. Listen, I don't want to hear it, okay? Diet Coke is what gets me through this dang life. I don't want to hear the judgment. This is a judgment-free zone, okay? Just pretend like you're at Planet Fitness. Let's get started with the haul. I did pick up some lemons. I just use those for lemon water. We have some green onions here, and then I have some cilantro for a recipe that I'm gonna be making, which obviously will be a video on my channel. Some Tostitos. Let's recognize that Emily's nails are bugged and that she may or may not do something about it. Maybe next time you see me, I'll have cool nails. Listen, Linda. <laughs> listen, Linda. Listen. I know. This is terrible. It's a whole heck of a lot better than going to Taco Bell or McDonald's or any of the numerous other places that I've been going to. I love this stuff and I've used it for years. In fact, I used to use probably half of this in one day. Now I use a tablespoon. Maybe two. Maybe three on a wild day. I do plan to eventually cut these things out the more weight that I lose, but these are just getting me through having some of those cravings still uh, of junk food. Moving on. Next, I got some scoops. I love them. The other day I used them with some refried beans, some of that cheese, and some salsa, and it was freaking delicious. Try it out sometime. got some salsa. I love having salsa on hand, pico de gallo especially, just because I feel like it really brightens up things. Daisy Light. I use it just as a little dabble on if I'm making a breakfast burrito or a regular burrito or anything like that. Peppers. They were, I think, three for five or something like that. They were on a special, so I did get three. They always get you like that. It's probably not that good of a deal, but just because it says three for whatever, it's like, oh, gotta get it. Anyway, so red, yellow, orange. So I'll use those for some fajita type situation or just by themselves with some dip or something like that or just eat them plain. I got the inspiration to get this from Eden Loves Life here on YouTube. I like to watch what I eat in a days and things like that of people because it just inspires me. It gives me ideas and so she, I love Hidden Valley Ranch. Like OG love Hidden Valley Ranch. I have used the light and it's okay and I lately I've been using the Bolt House but I thought I would try this because I do like Bolt House. I just think that this is or I'm hoping that this is tastes a little bit more like Hidden Valley Ranch which is what I love. Sticking with the theme of shit I bought because YouTubers did. <laughs> I got these and I got the idea for this from Justin's Journey. I'll link all these YouTubers below, by the way, just so that you won't have to like think about it. As a snack, she would take a chocolate rice cake and then she would put Reese's whipped cream in the can on top of it. And I loved that. However, I have not been able to find that Reese's canned whipped cream in a very long time. So what I do is I sprinkle some PB2 on top of this, just a very little bit. I mean, like just a small little coating, just the powder. And then I put 
just some fat-free Ready Whip on top of it, and it's a very close second to the Reese's. I got some mandarins, and then I got some bananas. I got some that are a little more ripe than the others. Thank you to my brother Josh for that tip. It really is a great idea, by the way. So if you have, if you don't do this, so what he does is he buys a few, just a couple that are more ripe than the others so that these will, you can eat while these are still ripening up. Oh, genius. I bought myself some flowers. I just love having fresh flowers. The last few things here. I couldn't find 96% lean and I really do have a hard time finding that most of the time. So I ended up just picking up 93% lean. Oh, so these are the Tyson Black and Chicken Breast Strips. I love these things. I use them all sorts of ways. So I'll put them in the air fryer back there and I can put them like in wraps. I can put them in salads. Um, I can eat them by themselves. I do like the Chipotle hack, but with these where you do the pickles and the Chick-fil-A sauce, or I just usually use ranch. Um, they are so good. They're so flavorful. And I, again, I get it, it's processed. And when I first saw these, I was like, let me see if I can like maybe make them not processed on my own. But honestly, the ingredients aren't terrible on the back of here. Um, and it's worth it for me. Again, I know convenience food is not the best, but it's getting me through. It's helping me to satisfy cravings. It's helping me to make better choices from going out to fast food or ordering $30 DoorDash. For one person, it's ridiculous. It's expensive, doesn't make you feel good, and it's just bad for you. So these are a little less bad for me right now. As time progresses, I will clean up my diet. These are the Tyson, again. These are air fried. They make chicken nuggets, chicken strips, and chicken fillets. And I buy whatever the heck is around. <laughs> so today, Harris Teeter had the chicken strips. They all taste the same. They actually taste pretty good. And I use those for all types of things. I'll use them for wraps salads. I'll do like orida fries or something like that. This is everything I got. I'm going to go ahead and put this all away. I just realized that this is supposed to be a what I eat in the day and I had some freaking Cheetos. It's 5 p.m. So anyway, let me put a little snack together. I'll show you what it is. I'm just gonna take one of the, the Olay Extreme Wellness. This one is the tomato basil. I also get that at Harris Teeter. And then I just have some um, oven roasted turkey breast. Three slices of that on there really quick and I'm literally just gonna do it like that cuz you'll see it in a minute. and then I'm gonna take a couple of these mini string cheeses from good and gather I saw these I don't really know what the benefit of them is I guess if you just want a couple as opposed to a whole cheese stick for like less calories or um, maybe you could do something fun with like some crescent rolls or something like that so Actually, I'm gonna line them up like a regular string cheese. And then I have some just regular mustard here. We can talk about my quarantine endeavors later about beautifying my fridge. It never really ended up being exactly the way that I wanted it to. So there's that. But I have these fun little bottles. So then I'm just gonna literally just roll this up. And there you go. That's gonna be my little snack roll, I guess. It tastes like what it is. It tastes like a healthy wrap <laughs> with turkey cheese and mustard in it. It'll do. All right, let's go to Target. Holy moly, it's beautiful. 
look at it and it doesn't even do it justice on camera it's like such a stunning orange at the bottom wow yeah. I'm just gonna be having the leftovers from a cooking video, my very first cooking video. It's just a simple, easy, healthy pasta. I've decided that I'm gonna have a little bit of a salad. So, so I buy these romaine hearts because I'll show you how I do my salads. I use a salad spinner and then toss it in here. And then I'll rinse it. So then I just drain it a little bit and you just plop it in this guy here. And you can buy different brands. This is just one that I bought. And then spin it. Okay. And then you can see how much liquid comes out of that. So now let's put this together. Just add some of my romaine. And then I'm going to use up some of this baby spinach that I have. Tomatoes on. I'll put a couple of baby carrots on there. Go on some cheese. I did end up adding some of these red peppers, crispy red peppers, to the salad. And then I always do a little bit of ranch and a little bit of Italian dressing, so let's try it. It's good. The Pin Valley Greek Ranch is good. Just nothing can replace a regular ranch, unfortunately. Now, for the pasta sauce. Well, the pasta. And I already know this is delicious because I had it last night, but here we go. I'm telling you, it must run in my veins because my dad makes a killer pasta sauce like it's famous in our family. People request it, but this pasta sauce is so good and so easy. If you want to check that out, the video is already on my channel. So now this is like two videos on my channel. If you're liking the content, definitely consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this. I would really appreciate it if you let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye.